More on the path forward now. Today, President Trump slamming virtual learning, claiming it has been proven to be terrible. He wants all schools to reopen for traditional classes this fall. He's threatened to withhold federal funding for those that do not. Several systems in our area have announced parents will have a choice between traditional and virtual classes this school year. NBC 15's James Gordon has been looking into Baldwin County's virtual program. And James, the district calls it a huge success. It does, Greg. Baldwin County says it operates a standalone virtual program that, with lessons that are taught by local teachers. And the district says that those students will be taking classes and work just as hard as those who are in traditional classrooms. Virtual school may be the safest choice during a pandemic. In Baldwin County, students will take classes from home and take tests in person. Tutoring is also available, and for the first time, virtual classes will be offered K through 12. If you're going to consider virtual school, it is an intense, uh, driven uh, program to where you have to have your child disciplined uh, to make sure that they're meeting their assignments. In Baldwin County, statistics show students did well taking virtual classes. In 2019, 62 seniors taking virtual classes graduated. That's more than a 95% graduation rate. The virtual program registered more than a million dollars in academic, athletic, and art scholarships. Parents like Lindy Hunter say her 14-year-old daughter is choosing to go back to traditional school, but she says virtual should be an option for some families. It's going to prepare them for college because there are so many online courses in college. I think it does help. It's a very, I think it's a great program. Now, so far, more than 1,000 students in Baldwin County have registered for those virtual classes. School starts August 12th, and students will be locked into their traditional or their virtual classes after Labor Day. For now, we're live in Baldwin County. James Gordon, NBC 15 News.